What's up everybody, OCD Farming here today and welcome to Mills Town. This is a brand new map, just came out on Thursday I believe. Uh, it's by Muddy Digs and it's 263 megabytes to download and it's for all platforms. Um, th there is a lot to this uh, on the mod hub so I'm just going to read kind of like the top half of it. Uh, so welcome to Millstown, a fictional U.S. town with a prosperous future in farming, livestock, forestry, and production. With mostly medium to large fields, animals, and forestry, there's always something to keep you busy. Thanks to the good folks at Larson's Livestock, they're they're provided they've provided the farmers of Millstown with five locations to buy bulk lime, dry fertilizer, slurry, and manure. Larson's is also ready to buy your slurry and manure. Millstown has a good amount of productions with some offering multiplayer ways to deliver. There are two farm supply productions offering vehicle and train unloading. The South Farm Supply Production also able to load to train. The West Grain Mill offers unloading from the train as well as vehicle. The four productions as the East and your honeybees send their produce pallets to the nearby warehouse for easy pickup. In New Farmer, you start off with an arable farm as well as vehicles and implements for field work. You'll own four fields, the North Cow Farm with Meadow, the North Farm Supply Production, and the Grain Mill Production at the East. A large beehive is also owned in New Farmer. Once the money rolls in, should you wish to expand your farm operations, a second larger farm to the Southeast is available for purchase. Happy farming! And yeah, I'll go through the map details quick. Uh, four pre-built farms, two arable, one farm with sheep and pigs, two to the north, a cow pasture with up to 160 cows, 69 farmlands, 41 fields, many easy, easily mergeable, uh, four meadows, 24 productions, including two farm supply factories, two flour mills, grain dryer, diesel, concrete pavers, stone mill, wooden toys, empty pallets, water distribution, BGA, and sawmill. 19 cell points, including two towns by train, a chemco facility to buy your solid and liquid fertilizers, herbicide, digestate, and lime. Three greenhouses, two standard, one spruce tree sapling for planting or selling. Greenhouses require water and seeds. Five lime, dry fertilizer, manure, and slurry bulk buy points. Three liquid fertilizer and herbicide bulk buy, buy stations. Two train systems with three silo locations. The train transfer silo at the southwest can store and transfer between both trains and vehicles. Three buildable lot areas, one with object storage, 21 custom, custom collectible themed hand tools. Two stone and sand quarries sell direct for use in the production of chain lime, chain of lime, diesel, and concrete pavers. Contracts with two grass baling missions and precision farming. And there's also a bunch of other notes that you should probably read, but I'm not going to go into it because I've already freaking read it a lot and my mouth is sore from freaking talking so much. Ah! So yeah, that is that. And now we will show you the PDA. Um... We do own a fair bit of land, but we honestly don't have very many fields. We we have a, a couple, but not a, like a crap ton. Um, we do have one quarry up here to the northwest. Uh, we got big grass fields here. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 fields plus the grass field. And this grass field over here as well, actually. Um, so yeah, pretty decent. We have a lot of stuff. Uh, we have four farms uh, in total. We got one down here to the southeast. Uh, we got our kind of our main farm, I guess you want to say, kind of in the central west area. And the northwest area, we got our cow pasture. And uh, to the uh, to the west, I guess, is uh, our chickens, and we also have some greenhouses down here as well. Um, so yeah, our horses, sheep, and pigs are down here at this farm. 
But yeah, there is a lot of stuff in productions and whatnot to show you, so yeah, we'll get right to it. Um, but yeah, we'll start off here at the kind of main farm. Uh, this is where our house is, and yeah, very nice house that I placed. And mod. Uh, and yeah, you do need the red barn pack. Um, so yeah, that is one required mod that you need for this map. Anyways, uh, we got this red barn uh, garage shed here, and in it we got our John Deere's. We got our 7M230 with wides and weights and a built-in weight. I forget how much horsepower this is, but yeah, that's that. Uh, then we got a John Deere 4840 with two-wheel drive and really nice wide tires and a built-in weight. And then we got another 4840 with two-wheel drive and dual narrows in the back and a built-in weight. Alright, and that's that. Uh, we got an American garden shed here with our uh, John Deere 445 riding lawnmower with the dummy capacity bagger. Uh, and we got our uh, shed here <laughs> with our TLX 3500s. We got the dumper, the unrealistic dumper, we got the unrealistic tanker, and we got the normal bed with the gooseneck. Uh, we got the Lizard Apache 1958, and then behind it we got the Lizard six or the John Deere Gator six x four with the fuel deposit. Uh, this is a um, Millstown modded uh, liquid fertilizer and herbicide thing. It holds 180,000 80, liters of each. <laughs> Jesus. Damn, son. That's convenient. Uh, we also got a workshop trigger there, fuel deposit there, uh, buying station for liquids there, uh, and over here we have a bunker silo. Not a very tall one, but decent. Uh, we'll come over here quick. Uh, we got our lawn care tipper kind of beside this uh, garage shed. And also to the outside of it, we have our Lieber uh, tree harvester. And it's a crane with the tree harvester head. And it's the LH26. And we also got the uh, devour trees uh, tree stumper thing. And then over here, we also have a Reich 1 6 meter plow. I forgot to show you. All right, that's that. And then in the shed, we got. Uh, another John Deere 7M command quad and this one's got a front loader with a log grabber uh, We got the uh, this is actually fairly new uh, the Amazon Pantera 4502 I don't know if it's new or recently updated, but yeah, it's uh, pretty nice. It's 21 meter spread So it's decent for smaller size medium-sized fields so, decent. Uh, and then we got a TLX Phoenix uh, with the unrealistic tanker. And then over here we have our MF Cultivator, the Massey Ferguson 23, the only Massey Ferguson mod I have, only because you customize the colors. And we have a Lizard 2000 Furt Spreader that will also do lime, but it's going to be mainly for fertilizer. Uh, we got a base game drive through shit here with our draper header and our combine, or for our combine and our corn header as well. I believe this is a 9 meter draper header and a 6 meter corn header. Uh, then we got a couple man trucks here. This one is the TGS 18500 with the uh, log kind of poles. Uh, and then we got a man. TG 18500. Uh, I think this is just a 4x2, yeah. With the uh, Lizard 320 trailer, part of the skitter thing. Actually, that's the second MF mod that I had. I forgot that that's an MF mod. Uh, anyways, we've got another man truck here with the Gal trailer, and this is the European version, so smaller version. That's that. Uh, we got uh, two easy game shed, easy sheds here, base game sheds, uh, kind of combined into one. 
And we got our stone picker there. We got our Pottinger weeder. We got an Amazon Catros 5002 cultivator. Uh, we got the Dolbo field roller. We got the John Deere uh, 1590 no-till drill. And we got the Lizard M99-6 planter. And the train's going by. And there are two trains on this map. Uh, then we got a, um, a Hayloft silo. This is also a modded, uh, Millstown modded silo. And it will hold all this stuff here. So, yeah. That is that. And then we also have our American barn shed here with our man Palfinger truck with the forklift. Uh, we got a John Deere 600 uh, auger. We got the 9870 STS uh, John Deere combine with the Canadian flag. Very nice. And I believe this holds like, I don't know, 15,000 liters, something like that. And we got a TLX Phoenix with the unrealistic dumper. And uh, there is a train rent station here where we can rent the train. So yeah. And that's everything to show you at the uh, main farm, we'll call it. <laughs> so we'll give you a flyover. I have a sense this map is getting an update. I, I don't know why, I just, I have a sense. <laughs> so I have a feeling we'll be setting this one up a couple times. And this one took me six hours to set up. So you better enjoy it. Anyways, that was the main farm. Now we'll jump up over to the cow farm, uh, we'll call it. And we got the big massive red barn, the cow barn that's part of the red barn pack. And this will hold 500 uh, cows and we got 20 of each of the Holsteins, so 60 cows total. Uh, we got a multi fruit fill trigger there, workshop trigger there, uh, fuel tank there, buying station for liquids there, pressure washer station there. We got a modern garage shit here with a TLX 3500 with a mixer, uh, unrealistic 50,000 liter mixer. Uh, then we got the John Deere telehandler with the front loader bucket that holds 25,000 liters. And we got the Kloss Jaguar, uh, Jaguar uh, with the corn header kind of thing for it. Very nice mod, very cheap, and yeah, this is very nice. So 695 Jaguar SL Mega Plus. Very nice. And that's four drivers, in case you haven't noticed. Uh, anyways, we got another hayloft silo over here. Uh, we have a another modded silo. I believe this holds like everything. And this holds, um, let me see how much. Show you how much both of them hold, actually. Okay, so this one here holds uh, two and a half million liters. And I believe it's used to store crops. And then this one here, is the hayloft silo and it holds 1.2 million liters. So, not bad. Alright, that's that. And yeah, that's everything over here. Uh, we have a American water tower here. I also uh, fenced off this area a bit. Uh, we have a hay, uh, hay bale shed here that will hold 600 uh, bales and pallets. And there's a bit of a dip here. Oh my god, I don't like that. Oh, what the fuck happened there? Fuck's sakes. Good enough. I had to save it, sorry. Ah, oh, I did not notice that. Alright, so that's that. Uh, Alright, and I think... Uh, oh yeah, we got a couple things back here. A uh, couple bunker silos, and it is a little bumpy over here too. Fuck sakes. Could have sworn I had left it not like this. Good 
stuff. Fuck, I'm gonna save again. Just so I can exit and I don't know the save after. Anyways, so yeah, we got two bunker silos here, and I think that's everything to show you here. So we'll give you a flyover. Yeah, we do have a bit of a grass field here too, so yeah. But yeah, pretty nice uh, farm. I had to do a bit of landscaping here. This took a bit to level. I'm not gonna lie, that's probably why it's so bumpy. But yeah, I did add this uh, white fence, like from like here over. Yeah. But yeah, it's all right. I gotta say, it's it's decent. <laughs> but yeah, that's uh, everything here to show you. And uh, do do And we'll jump over to the chicken farm now. And we do have two uh, chicken barns. Uh, both of the part of the red barn pack and both hold 500 and we don't have any chickens right now oh yeah we're just under five hundred sixty thousand dollars too uh we got a halo silo here but i'm gonna switch that out for the other silo because we just need wheat over here <laughs> um so yeah american water tower there Buying station for liquids there, and I'm actually gonna do that now before I forget. God damn it. This map has just broken me, I'm not gonna lie. Like. <sighs> oh man, now I gotta do all this. <sighs> Oh my god, dude. I can't. I can't. I can't. What the shit? Oh, yeah. There's so many types of grass, too. Which one the fuck is it? Okay, now we have a freaking silo that will hold wheat. God, freaking damn it. Have to do this one more time. Okay, so we have a silo there now. And it kind of blocks off our water tower right here, but what the fuck ever. Um, but yeah, and then we got a buying station for liquids there. Hay bales shed here for bales and pallets, but mainly going to be for pallets. Another chicken coop here, and we don't have any chickens yet either, and we're down to 431,000. Uh, yeah, that's where we feed them. God, it's so bumpy over here. Uh, workshop trigger there, multi fruit fail trigger there, um, fuel tank there. Uh, we also got a Parker gravity wagon here that holds like 15,000 liters or something like that. Uh, pressure washer station, pressure washer there. We got a base game shed here with the Lizard Tardis medium liquid trailer. Holds 20,000 liters. And then we got the Lizard Rumbler diesel. that holds 3,800 liters. Uh, we got an old wooden barn here with a John Deere 4320. It's 130 horsepower, two wheel drive, wide tires, front loader, and we got a pallet fork for it. So we pick up freaking egg pallets. And then we got a little Unia trailer here as well. So we can put them on something. And then, yeah, over here is actually the greenhouses, but we do have to kind of go over here, so I'll just show you here. And I did not place these, so this one here is the tree sapling greenhouse uh, and then these ones are multi input greenhouses and they do just tomatoes lettuce and strawberries okay, cool. and there's another one here as well all right and we'll show you a little flyover Let me just 
this prick in. There we go. I kind of access it a bit. Now I gotta save again. Huh, would you look at that? Holy Christ. This map tour is gonna take me like fucking half an hour. Alright, uh, so yeah, that is that farm, and then our final farm, which is probably our biggest one, but we honestly don't have very much over here. Um, I almost gave you a flyover right away. Uh, we got our horse barn here, and I don't think we have any horses. No, we don't. Uh, but this is part of the red barn pack, hold 16. Got the American water tower there. Got a buying station for liquids here. We got the a modern pig barn here that will hold 450 pigs. Itchy ear. Uh, we got the big sheep barn here that holds 360. How much? 360. 300. Okay. All right. Uh, we got a red barn shed, part of the red barn pack with the Vehenuous uh, slurry spreader. It's a modded one. And it's got an 11 meter spread. Uh, and then we got the Haw Muck Spreader. that will also do lime. Uh, we got the base game PPF2 uh, Ferrison Mixer. And we got the Lizard Tardis a Large Loading Wagon that will hold 120, 150,000 liters, 125,000 liters, something like that. Uh, we got a base game shed here with our 9 meter Wind Rover. We got our Fent Tedder, we got the John Deere Batwing Mower, and we got the 690 John, De John Deere Baler. And we got a Hayloft Silo there, another one. Another bale shed and pallet shed. Uh, two more bunker silos over here. And a stupid way. Uh, another one of these silos here. Uh, this is the grain dryer, uh, and we do own it, so we can dry grain or wheat, barley, and corn. And this here is South Train Silo. Okay. And then we got a fuel tank there. Oh yeah, can we use this the train? Yeah, okay. Sweet. So yeah, that's like a transfer silo. Uh, we got a fuel tank here. Another modern garage shed here with our New Holland skid steer to the side of it. And in here we got our attachments. We got our bale spike, pallet fork, and bucket. And we got some grass growing in here, but I don't care. Uh, we got the John Deere, another John Deere 4840. This one's just got standard John Deere tires on it with a built-in weight. And we got a TLX Phoenix that will auto load bales. <coughs> Pressure washer there. Oh, 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 okay, I think that's everything to show you here. So, I'll give you a little fly over here. So, yeah, we don't have much here, but just a lot of big pens. Oh, yeah, we got a multi fruit fill trigger there and a workshop trigger there as well. Yeah, I like this farm. This farm looks nice. This farm is a little, little easier to set up than the other ones, I will say. The main farm and the cow farm were very hard to set up. But yeah, that is everything to show you that we own. So we are going to just show you all the shops. Uh, we got Somerset train cell point there to the east. Uh, we got Johnson's Farmer's Market here. Uh, we got the sawmill production. And we do not own it. 118,000. And sawmill thing is also there. Uh, we got carpentry production, which we do not own. And it is uh, 60,000. 
Uh, we got the concrete pavers uh, production, and this we do own. So, yeah, very cool. And you can make concrete pavers with stone, sand, lime, water, milled stone, and milled sand. So, very cool. So that's that. All right. Uh, we got the drain, dry grain mill. And we do not own this, 96,000. We got a gas station here, Garrison. And what is this here? A Garrison fuel cell point, I think. Yeah, that's sick. It's even got the freaking sewer grate things. Yeah, yeah that's sick. All right, uh, that's that. Um, we got a liquid chemical buy station and a train rent station here. Cool. And we also have another transfer silo here as well, I believe. South Farm Supply Production. Oh, okay, yeah, we do own this. And we can make total mixed ration with hay silage and straw. And then we can make it with all that stuff plus mineral feed. <laughs> we can do soybean pig feed, potato pig feed, grass hay, grass silage, hay silage, chaff silage, silage digestate, and silage digestate with chaff, it looks like. Grass and chaff. And we got wheat seeds, barley seeds, mineral feed, lime, digestate liquid fertilizer, digestate solid fertilizer, and yeah, that's everything here, too, that we can produce. Oh, freaking cool. This one's going to be cool to take. Good to use. That's going to be using that one. All right. Uh, we got the stone and sand milling cell point. So stone and sand sales here, stone and sand production unload here, De water deliveries in back, okay, and we can also pick stuff up there, and this is also a production and this is where you mill so stones and sand, very cool, and that's the water there, and we can also rent the train here. And yeah, that's that. Oh, we got millstone wood and wood chips. I think it's just a cell point. Uh, we got a pallet factory, $55,000. We do not own it. Very cool though. Very nice map, like very detailed. And there's a train station there, too, or something. Uh, train transfer silo right here, and another rent station there. And there's the train coming by. I think it's just a standard train. Yeah, it's got two, two, it's not this absolute standard one. I've seen smaller ones. But yeah, and then you can do it by uh, truck here. Um, what's that? Uh, we got manure buy station and lime and dry fertilizer and a <clears throat> and a slurry buy station, which I can't jump to, unfortunately. But here it is. All right, so this is the lime and dry fertilizer. This is slurry, and then this is mapuber. <laughs> um, Jesus, pizzeria, just a cell point, we got the bowling center, another cell point, we got dairy production, which we do not own, and it is 70,000, uh, we also got two train cell points here, Somerset and Silver Run. And we got water distribution, which we do own, so it's water production, and we make water with water, basically. <laughs> so, yeah, pretty cool. And, yeah, very nice. Uh, that's that, and then we got the bakery. Oop, there it is, right there. And we do not own this, and it is 50,000. And we got the grocery store. 
Hmm. Uh, then we got Millstown Water Tower. Oh, we got a water tower here. I wonder if it's free. Cool. All right, I think that's everything there. Um, then we got a bale and pallet storage shed and our beehive pallet location. Um, this will also be where a lot of our production stuff is. So yeah, right here we own the, what is it, the grain mill. And we got wheat flour and sorghum flour going that I didn't even do. We started off with it. And yeah, so it's storing all our flour right over here for us. So <laughs> it's pretty cool, I gotta say. Um, and then over here, it looks like the oils, the oil mill, we got seeds it looks like, and, uh, shit, what is that again? I totally forget, but we'll figure it out. But yeah, very nice, I like this, I like this concept, I think a lot more maps should try this. Uh, but yeah, and then the bale and uh, storage shed is just over here. That was 250. Uh, this is the oil mill, I believe. Cereal factory, 110,000. Do not own it. This is the oil mill here. And she owns $80,000. We do not own it. And we got the grain mill here, and this we do own. This is what we got going. So yeah, very cool. Alright, and that's that, and then we also have the sugar mill, which we don't own, 80,000. And that's that. Uh, we got more slurry buy point station, maneuver buy point station, and a lime and dry fertilizer buy station there. I'm not going to jump there because I can't, and we also have another one over here, but I can't jump to it because I can't. Um, and then over here is our animal our livestock trader but this is our bale sell point and then it looks like over here is where we sell slurry and digestate maybe too oh, I went the wrong way okay there it is yeah it looks like slurry sell point here and then a manure sell point here which is nice uh, and then we got the animal dealer which is right here and a chemical buy station there cool all right uh, that's that uh, we got the shop and actually a decent lot for how uh, small the map seems kind of it's, it's decent size freaking lot and the workshop triggers over there by that that shit over there and the icons over here yeah that's that uh, and then we got chemco well, they take I think liquid digestates and stuff like that uh, textiles and embroidery it's a uh, sell point for spinnery stuff wool cotton clothes stuff like that and we got a restaurant sell point there's a lot of cell points. Holy cripes. All right. Uh, we got net more buy stations here that I can't jump to. Then we got the BGA, which is 526,000. Decent. And we got two massive bunker silos there. And we got a way station over there, too. Is that it? Yeah. No sheds, but that's all right. Decent. That's very cheap BGA. Uh, we got the wood toy workshop, which we don't own, but it's only 60,000, just under. Very cool. Uh, we got the farmer's market, sell point, probably for productions. Uh, Betty Joe's uh, bales and more, sell point. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, Betty Joe's Trading Depot. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, we got the Tailor Shop. 100,000. Uh, more lime and fertilizer and 
and slurry and all that. We got spinnery. Ah, uh, shit. How much is it? I don't know. Ah, oh, damn it. 60,000. Uh, we got the refinery. I think it's the oil refinery. And we do own this one. And we can make oil shale and diesel. So we need rocks and water. And then we need oil shale and methane. I think that was pretty cool. Decent. And this is where we get it over here, I believe. Decent, decent, decent. All right, and that is that. Um, we got the North Farm Supply Production, and we also do own this. And it's the same as the other one, as the south one. So we can do all that stuff over here, too. Very nice. I like that. All right, that's cool. Uh, we got another liquid chemical buy station there. Uh, HH Milling Grain Sales. Sell point there. Uh, and then we got a North Train Transfer Silo here. And... Fuck the train. Gotta be over here. What the hell? Oh, here it is. There's the train. There's the truck. And then you can also get it from the truck here, looks like. Cool. I like that. Decent. Alright, and that is... Oh yeah, we also got a rent train station there and a silver run cell station up to the north east. And that is everything to freaking show you. I will also show you the quarry quick, just to show you what it's like. There is a decent amount of rocks and some sand, it looks like. So, decent. Decent, decent, decent. Alrighty, and that is going to do it for today, though. So, uh, tune in next episode where we will be uh, back at Elma, Missouri for a fresh map tour ski. And then Alone in the World and Big Flats, Texas for a fresh map tour. And Snow Runner for episode 20. And Fox Farms, New American and Piney Run for a fresh map tour. And Truck Driver, American Dream for episode 13. The Mythical Woods, Weimar Canada for Fresh Map Tour, and Truck Driver for Episode 20. So, till next time, OCD Farmers, signing out, Dobby. So.